Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Robin from DxO and in this video we'll look at using the Knit Collection 6 from Lightroom Classic. Working with the Knit Collection in Lightroom Classic offers many workflow options. First, find the image you want to edit in the library module. After selecting the image, click the photo menu and then choose the edit in option. This is where you will see the Knit Collection applications, which Lightroom calls external editors. When I click on the Knit Color Effects Pro entry in the list, we see the Edit Photo dialog. This is a Lightroom dialog which allows you to edit either the original image or a copy. When we choose to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, we see the options for the copy image file. We can then use these default settings or change them. If you want to change the defaults permanently, you can edit them in the External Editors section of your Lightroom Preferences. Another way to launch the NIC application from Lightroom is by right-clicking on the image that you want to edit. Then in the pop-up menu, select the Edit In option and click the application you want to launch. We are then back in the Lightroom Edit dialog where we can click the Edit button to launch Color Effects Pro. But we aren't only limited to editing single image files from Lightroom. Let's choose four of these images, then we can launch Color Effects Pro from either the photo menu or by right clicking on one of the images just as we did before. In the Lightroom dialog, we'll select the Edit Copy option to create an exact copy of the image files. When Color Effects Pro opens, we see the first of the images with the image details appearing along the bottom. We can now apply our adjustments to the first image after which we can use the navigator to move to the next image where we can apply further adjustments. And we can continue to navigate forwards and backwards through the open images. When we've finished editing our images, we can use the apply to all button to apply our changes and return to Lightroom. The changes we've just made to this image were applied directly and we can't remove or change them. This is what we call a destructive edit because it permanently changes the image but we can also use a non-destructive workflow by making one simple change. When we select to edit an image, we need to create a copy saved in the TIFF format. Then when the image opens in Color Effects Pro, we can select the non-destructive edit option. This is only available when editing a TIFF image and it saves our adjustments inside the image file. If we later decide we don't like the adjustment, we can choose to edit the original TIFF image. We then see our original edit, which we can adjust before saving. But that's not the end of the workflow features when using the Knit Collection from Lightroom. We also have the Smart Copy and Paste feature, which can speed up editing. If we right-click the image we just edited, we can select the Export option and then choose the Copy and Apply parameters. This copies our adjustments to the computer clipboard. We can then click another image and repeat the process, but this time choosing to apply the adjustments we copied. There's then an option to apply the adjustments to the original image or a copy. All this happens in seconds without the need to launch the plugins. You're now ready to express all your creativity in Lightroom Classic using the Knit Collection 6 tools in an optimized workflow. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, knitcollection.dxo.com.